and I'm Stephan Chase. And I'm Russ Bowen. Thanks for joining us. We are hearing more from the mother of a local man who was killed by police. Raleigh police tell North Carolina News Akil Dinkins ran away from an officer when he tried to arrest him on Monday afternoon. Officers also say a gun was found by Dinkins' body, but his family tells us a different story. Reporter Emma Wright is recovering the story for North Carolina News. She joins us now live in Raleigh with more. Emma, you just talked with Dinkins' mother, right? I did just talk with her and she says she appreciates all of the community support, but she still wants some real answers from police and the FBI. We're here outside of the memorial where Dinkins was shot and killed. It's grown over the past couple of minutes. We've seen the community out here. They've been singing songs and having some sort of celebration of life. But again, Jenkins' friends and family that we talked to earlier today say they really want answers from the police and the FBI. Heartbreak on the streets of Raleigh. Friends and family of Akiel Dankins console each other after a morning of prayer. I felt really good when I saw this on the news this morning. That's why I'm here. Holding back tears, Rolanda Bird talked briefly outside the Vintage Church Wednesday morning. Bird says it's been two days of grief, frustration, and limited communication from Raleigh PD. The Raleigh Police Department has not contacted me at all since they left the crime scene. Bird and her family were invited to a prayer vigil hosted by the pastors of several local churches. There are themes, there are dynamics within any community uh, where there are pains and wounds and brokenness. They really reveal that it takes more than sociological, political, and economic realities to make a difference. Rolanda Bird says she appreciates the extra prayers and good thoughts from the community on the day she'll receive her son's body and begin to plan his funeral. hasn't said yet when that funeral will be. Raleigh police say they are still investigating. The SBI is still investigating. As for this story, North Carolina News reporter Jonathan Rodriguez, he is following up on it. He will have more on the news this afternoon starting at 5. Reporting live in Raleigh, I'm Emma Wright, North Carolina News.